she had one jab, oh, it's about over a month ago, if she had to have it for her job, and that was bad enough. She had migraines every day since, every single day, and then she had the second jab, and she fainted at work, she lost her sight, it was coming and going during the day, she had to leave her job after the second jab, after one day, you know, when she had the jab the day before, she couldn't, um, and she, she supports our group now, um, she, she wished she'd never had the first one or the second shot, she's, um, for, you know, for voices of freedom, freedom of choice, um, and, and she had to sign a form when she got that jab too, that she can't come back at, um, if something goes wrong, so she's actually had the adverse reaction. And she, she's actually in bed most of the day. She can't even get out of bed and she's put all this weight on and she was a trimmest, fittest person, athletic, farm girl. And um, yeah, she's very disappointed. I personally know, I don't know heaps of people, four, four people who have had vaccine injuries from taking one or two jabs. And they have no idea what the three of them work and they need to take it for work no idea what they're going to do next. Boosters are coming up, many boosters. My heart breaks for them. Mm. I support them and encourage them as much as I can. And I believe we'll, we will be found standing on the right side of history. At the moment, we just appear to be few, but I know there are hundreds and thousands mm. of us across New Zealand. Absolutely. New Zealand. There was a march of something like 750,000 in Melbourne. Mm. The other day, previous to that in Melbourne, the march was approximately 450,000. 10,000 marched in Christchurch. The thing about it is, more people die from the common flu, if you look it up, than this virus. And especially in New Zealand, you know, um, more likely to get side effects from the jab than the, you know, take your chances with the virus. I think it's also worth noting that, that Pfizer is conducting trials on its own products, which I think is an absolute conflict of interest. Uh, they have been fined billions of dollars not that many years ago, and they do have an extensive criminal record. Um, it, it's unheard of of any other industry to not be liable for the products that they make, but the pharmaceutical industry seems to be getting by like this. And I mean, what other better business model is there than for the government to mandate your products on people? But you know, if there's ever a freedom of choice, just those points there, um, I think. You know, I think worth being respected. Pfizer's got a lot to answer and um, they've been uh, ordered by a high court in America uh, to release important information about the trials. Uh, those documents are being released now as a whole. A uh, little bit, I think the first 33 pages came out. And um, it's a very terrible thing on those things. The question is, does the government knew about this thing, knew about those trials, when they decided to force because this is to me force. This is not free, um, free or freedom of choice. This is coercion to us. If to you his can't worth. live your life at all, you know. Um, yeah. yeah someone, and and you, you reduce even their, your ability to earn a wage or whatnot in order to feed yourself. And right. then, then what else can you really do, you know? Someone told me, I went out to uh, look at a, 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 a lawyer office, and a receptionist told me, ah, at the end, it's your choice. How is that my choice, or my wife's choice, or anybody's choice? When someone tells you, take a product in your system, in your body, then barely anybody know anything about when it comes to long term, or you lose your livelihood. How is that a choice? How is that a choice? Yes, that's not very short. Term. Yeah. This is coercion, this is no choice. Our ancestors, forefathers, will fight for freedom. This is not freedom. We're losing it by the minute.